Morning, people. Uh, got, uh, I'm not meant to be at work today. I've just got a little birdie with me. And uh, I had that lead egg, obviously. Uh, but Scotty's had a, one of them loading shovels. One of his loading shovels. The top arm has bent, apparently. So it's like a major problem, isn't it? So I'm just going to nip up there and see whether there's out I can do, whether I can take it off and then get it fabricated somewhere, like uh, Ocho's engineering or something. Well, the fire bad job for you, really, but you're too far away, ain't you, mate? That would have been an ideal job for you, that would have been. Uh, so we'll, uh, well, we'll play it by ear, won't we? I've got a load of gear and all for our birdie because you know what it's like keeping these kids entertained, innit? She's just at our fun age at the minute, twos, innit? Terrible twos, so she needs uh, entertaining all the time, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. No. Don't you want your cookie? Dear Dad will eat it lot, he likes cookies. Fall is ru rusk looking, remember these people? Oh, you got to have a rusk, eh? yeah. you always got to eat one. You know when you give one to the kid, you always got to eat one yourself. Got your juice. Good girl. So we got stocked up with gear, haven't we, my girl? To last us a few hours. You need no end of gear with kids, even to last you just a few hours. Don't you, my girl? Right, let's get going. What do you reckon that, my girl? Yeah, dull. <laughs> Isn't it? A bit dull. Uh, 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 Another digger there. Yeah, that one's alright though. This one's the poorly one. Oh my god. Oh dear. Been cracked for a bit, but with the looks of it. And then snap. Well, I had a frick, do I get that off? It's all that arm, look. Well, that attaches to this arm here. The other end of this arm. We'll be struggling, won't we? That's a major kink in the armour, isn't it? That's a major problem, isn't it? Well, I'll take some photos and send it to some people. Oh dear. Well, you reckon just a bit of stick welded on it? <laughs> hey? Uh, I've got that gasless mig, and I? I might try that. <laughs> oh no, I can't try that because I haven't got no welding wire yet. I'll just try my stick welder on it, won't I? It'll be alright, won't it? Load it, won't it? Stick welder. Uh, I've just sent some photos out and that. Whatever happens, I need that bar off, don't I? No matter what happens, it needs to come off. It needs to come off to replace it, it needs to come off to repair it, so either way it needs to come off, doesn't it? But I've got our birdie with me, Anna, so oof, can't be too long. Yeah, everyone's... Ash, got your merch on, mate. Fam, from commercials. Everyone's struggling here, nobody's... I mean, nobody wants how to do it, really, to tell you the truth, like welding up wise. Obviously, I don't know how to go about it anyway, I know it could be done like, but I don't know who could do it. Uh, I've just got to measure now from there to the centre there and then there to that one there because Scott might have got someone who's got a second hand but we need to know whether it's the right one first. So let's get measuring. Right, Scotty wants me to whip this off. <laughs> eh? I've got our burden to keep entertained and all. Uh, I'll just start by taking these covers off. I don't know what that under there is. It's like some kind of sensor or something. Someone's in it. I don't really know what's involved with this. I know one thing, it's, uh, it's going to be more than just a quick whip off, isn't it? Yeah, that must be some kind of electrical, like, uh, measuring device. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing here, people. As you know, I'm a guesser, aren't I? Right, I'm going to take that off there. There. And there. That will come off. And that arm off there. Because I need to get a big drift in there, don't I? Take that massive, huge pin out. I don't know how I'm going to do this, really, with manual tools, I'm sure. I don't know. Our little bird, eh? She's trying to get her eye vis on, lot. Struggling, she's struggling. Ah, 
I don't know how I'm going to do this really. I mean, let's get the sledge out and just see if them pins move out. We can but try, people. Well, bugger me, you wouldn't think that, would you? Straight out, that is. Hey? Bit too easy, that was, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me, dearie me, people. What's your verdict on her anyway, Chris? Yeah, I'm struggling to get anyone to repair it or do I? Even if they do repair that, it's not going to be, not going to last, is it? I don't want to thought so. Yeah. I need the forklift under that. Yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, come on. That's never going to come off in a month of Mondays, Tom. Just drop that fuck on out, And leave that in it. That'll hold it, won't it? What? Maybe. You got an ammo? Which thing's that bit might do that, isn't it? Leave me boring. Shall we get a proper ramp? No. What are we doing? Are we lifting that big ram off? Are you looking at her to do it? She's a little helper. You're moving all fingers. Up, 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 up. Good dad. Let's get that ball out, Chris. Lift it a bit, Mitch. Whoa. Right, right, right. There she flies, people. Safe, 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 Tom. Hey. Well, now it's the odd bit. <laughs> now it's that bit, the odd bit. That's the easy bit done. Now it's getting them pins out. Crushed the job. Sadly, Chris. You've got to go, ain't you? Go yeah, the machine operator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're not from Hamilton. Look at this, people. This is no good for the machine. He's even sweating on the job. Cheers, Mitch. Cheers, Tom. Right, uh, well, I don't know. Right, I've been thrashing this for ages now, these two pins are not budging at all. It wants to pull her on one side and then hit it with the armor on the other side because they're not moving. I need some I need some kind of special puller, don't I? I've got our birdie, I've got to go now. Uh he's gonna try and source one obviously. Uh and I'll have to come back with the right tools, right? I'll try and get a, some kind of puller, some massive puller. I'll have to, won't I? Right, uh to be continued this one guys. Oh yeah, cheers for your advice and all on the uh, on the post. I did a post about this asking people if uh, they had any ideas of what to do with it. So cheers for your replies, guys. Much appreciated. Good morning, people. Uh, I've got a breakdown. Well, not breakdown. He's not broke down. He's got a problem with a crane game. Crane game. Oh no. He'd have to like jam a screwdriver in something to get something to work because apparently it needs a bit of solder on it. I don't really know. He hasn't sent me no pictures of it. It's just what I was explained on the phone. But I've got a soldering iron on board, so we're going to start the day by going there to Lutterworth, an uh, hour's drive, and then having a play with the crane game, ain't we? Our lead dog's here, look. He's riding shotgun. How busy he is. been busy here. Hey, got to have a lead dog next to you. And lead dog, good boy, lead dog. Yeah, so uh, that's where we're going to start. We better get off. Right, people, let's go disco. Let's go. You sit back there, Doug, relax. Liquid eyes. Liquid eyes, little dog. You got me feeling like a firebolt. Hot in the sky. Looking like a thunderstorm. Oh, here we go. Hey, Doug, we're here. Look, we're here, look. Look at all these cranes sword fighting. They love sword fighting with cranes. I don't know why, they just like sword fighting them. Right, he's, I've just rang him, he's around there. I don't know, he's gonna bring the crane to me anyway. The crane game, I'm just gonna go around here. Worship every inch your feet have touched. Big developments here, isn't they? I like how they spray these buildings, look, blue look, and then go lighter to blend in into the stuff, the sky and stuff. It's quite clever, isn't it? So it's not like an eyesore, is it? There's the crane game I'm 
will be working. And just behind there, he's just got his sword up in the air fully. That's the cream game we'll be working on, people. Who's that man there, people? Stand the man. I can't put my window down. Someone in canteen while I'm struggling top's on. Yeah, and is there? No. Oh. <laughs> Stan's already got the circuit board out, though, because that's what Stan's like, you see. He's prepared, aren't you, Stan? Right, this is his, for his circuit board. He says it controls freaking everything, his sloop, everything. And in here, you take them out, they're, they're already clipped out. Can you see that little bird up there? And what he has to do to get it going is he's had a new wire put in, so it's not that. So it's the connection between that and and the circuit board there. And what he's having to do is jam like screwdriver in there or a pen or something to put pressure on it. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, sometimes it takes half hour just to get in the right position and then it'll activate everything. So I think that that there, you see that burnt out one there. I reckon that that's got a bad connection on there so i'm thinking to rub away at the plastic bit there to reveal the, the metal circuit board and then put some more solder from here down down this clean bit here like bridget that's what i'm thinking let's try it anyway we can but try it he'll know straight away he'll, he'll know as soon as soon as he plugs it in he'll know if it's worked or not so we'll try it won't we We've got no to lose have we well i've just rubbed away at that look stan and if you see that little little nib at the end there yeah can you see that little nib yeah, that solder's come off it, hasn't it? Yeah. Around it, so it might be like contact. It might no be, contact, yeah. Contact that's it, yeah. Like and that's why it's getting warm, because it's like arcing over all the time. Yeah, isn't it? Sound like you know what you're on about, right? It's fucking doing <laughs> that. I don't know, Hey, we can blag though, can't we? We're good at blagging. We're from Newark, we're good at blagging. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Yes, mate, there's your problem. Definitely, mate. Definitely your problem there. Isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll put a blob of solder on that, and then you'll be perfect, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Whole thing goes off in smoke. Oh shit! No, it looks like it's better. No, it not. does, mate. It does look. You can actually see a crack around it, around the nib of it. Right, I'll get some solder on it, Stan. Let's get yeah. let's get the soldering iron up and running. Yeah, Chrissy's just keeping it off where that like, burnt was and that, and it does look like soldering might just be perfect. It's like imagine. Oh, Chris, he's shaking like a chicken dog. Hello! Hello! Fuck it up! You got in beer? It just sold as everyone but the one in New Zealand. I'll be like the DeLorean in a minute, just flashing and gone. <laughs> it's position, this is, Dan. Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what, some cranes on here. Yeah! Doing some sword fighting, ain't ya? Yeah, we've got four on here. Have you? Best of you see, yeah. Don't match the chair. Mm -hmm. Is that in four weeks? Are you grafting on that? Yeah. Just sit down. What's that? Look, that's what Stan said. Look, been on that a week and a half, look, on that build. What was that one for? Four, four weeks. Four weeks. What, to do all of that? The whole thing, yeah. What, just your gang, you mean? You like that? Yeah, it's about 16 lads. Yeah, not bad though, is it? Yeah. I must be back and good at the job, Dan. You want to get tested for that parking thing? Fucking One of your viewers might spot it and say, you've definitely got it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying I'm steady? How do you think I'm going to save your life, bud? Okay. <laughs> right, that's it, Dan, I think. Look at that. Not only can I do pigeon poo out of welding, I can do pigeon poo out of soldering and all stuff. Yeah, have you ever looked at stuff? We all right. Lovely job. With your shades on. I bet it looks dark with them shades, doesn't it? They look bad. <laughs> yeah, give some shades, let me have a look at it. Yeah. Well, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, spot on. Them other ones look alright, don't they? Yeah, I think they look, they look alright, look. Yeah, well, let's yeah. just try that. It won't, won't take long to plug in, will it? Nah, it'll take me five minutes. Five minutes, Turkish? Right, I'll go and try it now and I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. You won't wait out there. Yep. Oh, I don't want to go on there. I'll need all that. I'll need all this is. I'll need all sorts. Well, I'm just going to go and try it now. Let's hope that does do. I mean, it'd be the easiest fix ever on a crane if that's all it needed. Just that spotted bloody solder, wouldn't it? I can't see what else it can be because if it puts pressure on it, in that terminal, definitely look loose. Look, it was like not thingy in it. 
So we'll just wait and see whether he starts sword fighting soon. If he don't, then it's bad news, isn't it? Has he still got a problem with it? He's not sword fighting yet, is he? What does Leodag have to say? He's just rang me, he says, uh, what do you reckon? I says, I don't know, what, is it working? It don't, don't look like it's working, your crane ain't moving. He says, yeah, done it, mate, straight away, plugged it in, all the lights are on. I says, well, will you definitely know then, straight away, if that's fixed it or not? He says, yeah, normally, mate, you piss around for ages, we I've just plugged it straight in, lights are on, that's it. Properly done, that's it. You don't have to do anything else to it. You fixed it with that bit of Parkinson soldering you've done. So that'll do, won't it, people? Hey, that's the easiest job I've ever done on a crane game, isn't it? Oh, I can't believe how easy that was. He even took the bit off for me. Bloody good, man. Bloody good show. Bloody good crane. Right, let's pack away. Let's go to the next job. Right, my next job's at Scottish Yard. I've got to drive now all the way back to Newark. Well, through Newark again. Past Newark. Back to Newark. Through Newark. Past Newark. And then to Bawtry. So it's another like hour and 45 minutes now. Drive. Uh, Lear doggy has been rushed off his feet all morning. Obviously. Look at him. He's knackered, the lad. He's absolutely shattered, people. We best get trucking again then, Lear Dag out. My Lear Dag. Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh. And that's it. That's as much as you're going to get. Busy dog. Right. Best get on again, Anna. Yippee! Roll the music. Boop, boop. When I look back upon the life I have lived and the choices I have made, what do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way, but when I give in, all life's good came running at me. With an open heart and mind and arms laid down, your wall and hate and arms let in the light of day and let Jesus show the way. But hey, I'm not religious and I'm old since I can't stand the way that most priests stop in the state church or else. Anyone want to buy that lot? <laughs> he got that done in the end with JCB. I couldn't get these pins out, could I? Yeah, Scotty was just saying, you'd have never got them pins out. Scotty said you, you, they had a 50 tonne press on it, full bore out on it, do, 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 trying to get them out, and it was still tied to get it out. That, uh, he got a replacement one, off cat, a second hand one. Expensive, yeah. Expensive, yeah. He got it for, well, uh, expensive. <laughs> hey, Scott. How did you go to that then with the grab? We should have welded. Oh, welded that welded, island to it. The proper, the proper cat team come out, three vans, and yeah, they knew what they were doing to be fair. Like I said, 50 ton press, flat out, with oxygen settling, plugging that out. Jeez. And struggling, and struggling to get it. Oh, with oxygen settling and all? Yeah, just struggling to get it out. Did they change, did they change right? Did they say? No, it's the second one they've ever done in 15 years. Is it? Yeah. So these good lads that you've got, keep slamming your that big bucket. That big two hundred and fifty thousand pound machine keeps slamming the bucket on the ground. Is that what causes it? Yeah. Slam it slam it hard enough and you break the pin on it. That's what they did. So what did you he told them? Yeah, bang. I've told them it's, it's a shovel, it's a bulldozer, it's a shovel. Yeah. They just don't listen to me. <laughs> that's a that's a man that's got pressure, people. Well you see. <laughs> My only pressure of the job, pressure of the people, Scotty. Eh? Right, what's up with this fault lift then? I'm, I'm hearing two stories. Chief Inspector Rob has a guy down to blown it up, and I don't know. Yeah, well, he said blown it up, but the other lad's had to come up here. I said, what's up with this fault lift? It's leaking oil. Okay. But it starts, this, apparently. This is the problem. Right, right. I don't I'll just have a look at These fault lifts, honestly. Uh, I don't know. You don't get the full story, do you? Apparently it runs, but it leaks summits. Uh, but I heard before that it didn't run, but now. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going to take that cover off and then strike it up, see whether it's leaking or see whether it will strike up. I don't know. How's that, William Wallace? Good, me, how are you? All right, mate. William Wallace. Yeah, we've been here for a couple of days. We've just tried to tidy up. We've got this tool everywhere. Look, there's tools chucked everywhere. There's no respect anymore, Scotty. The, the trouble is, they don't have to pay for it, do they? This is the second problem, Christine. I don't know. <laughs> I bet they boiled it again, because that radiator lot looks thick again. Thick as shit lot. It looks fucking out. How many times, man? 
all you've got to do is get pressure washer in here look that's it you only got to take out off look it's just the simplest top job in it you know what i mean it's just the simplest job ever but now nobody can seem to do it for some reason so whether they boiled it i'm just checking all the fluids on it at the minute Right, so we need a bit of engine oil in this before we start it. Do you reckon, Chris? Yeah, a bit of engine oil first. Yeah, uh, I bet yes. the water's a fuck all in it. So it's on the minimum engine oil, it's on the below minimum gearbox oil, uh, and I bet it's got no water in it either. Let's have a check. Yeah, it got no water in it either. Fuck. Right, I've topped up all them fluids now. Let's see if it'll start up. Well, I can't fix something that's not broken, can I? Uh, we're going to near the pressure washer and clean that radiator out again. Clean all this crap up and all. Again, again. Look what Wallace has got, mate. Good lad, isn't he? Even Leardag's up and about for this job, look. Ah, oh, you might know he's waked up now. Oh, Leardag. <laughs> it was a lucky day. He likes the chicken. He don't like the chips, look. Mitch has just said he's seen my new bike. Oh, it looks like kittens, look. Well, kittens. Yeah, he says he's seen my new bike, look. He's only a young lad. Oh, says to him, oh, Mitch. Oh, I don't like motorbikes, you know, as a rule. On the road, I don't like them. I don't mind off-road ones, because you're less chance of, of dying. But on-road ones, everyone's hard to get you on them, isn't they? Looks smart, though, Mitch. Like it. Just hope he goes careful on it, because he's only a young lad, and you know what they like on these motorbikes. Mitch has just come over and said, can you just get his hand on the shredder? We can't get a tooth out. Oh, that shredder. Oh. <laughs> no, mate, I'm uh, uh, busy at the minute. <laughs> ah, I'm just going to go get the hammer and chisel and chisel it out for him. It's just because it's been welded, and you can't get one with your grinder to, to crack the weld off. But I'll get in there with my little chisels, won't I? Well, I'm hoping I will, aren't I? <laughs> Let's hope so. Dun dun dun, the machine. New blades and all, Robert. Pissing out. How long have you been doing this all day? Oh, done well. There, look. It's just not coming out because that welded there, I think. Get a chisel out here. Me with my expert chisels got that out straight away. What, there's another one, Rob? I uh, know. Oh, you're right, that. Are you alright? Yeah. Do you need me to do it? Uh, I can't. I don't really turn it yet, but I've got to, because it captures them all. Oh, right. Oh, right. I've got to pull them all. Well, all show up if you need me. Yeah, no, I've Do you want these chisels leaving? No, I'm alright now, mate. You sure? Yeah, take your tools, because these are all loose. Look, Rob's glasses are clean, look, thank you. Take the Rob. <laughs> They are actually clean, Rob, for a change. Oh, that's a new one, too. Oh, they new ones again. You must go through more sets of glasses. I do. <laughs> <laughs> must go through a set of glasses a week. Those not leaking now, I don't know what to say. Now it's reached temperature, it's uh, leaking now. Yeah, rear crank seal's gone, hasn't it? So it means removing this lot, removing all this gearbox out of the way, uh, and then getting a new crank seal on the inside of it. I don't know, I've never had a gearbox out of one of these before in my life, but I should think it's a nightmare because you've got no space to get out of here. 
unless it'd be easy just taking the engine out. It might just be easy taking the engine out. Right, I'll see what Scotty wants to do. I'll go and see him. Yeah, I waited here back for parts for this. As you do. Got this look to straighten up. Warm it up there, bend it down and weld it well. I'll get my Australian welder to weld that up now because he's a better welder than me. I'll get him. Good day ladies and gentlemen, it's me the Aussie welder. I don't need goggles on because down and there everything's opposite so sparks don't go in my eyes. Right then mate, what we're going to do is put a bit of weld on here with my stick welder. It's going to be God is new. God is new I tell ya. That ain't a welder, this is a welder. Oh, you must have got, got electrocuted then on my own bloody welder. Bloody hell, give me a right good shock. Bastard it. <laughs> Fuck, fucking welder. I tell you what, it's a dangerous bastard, this welder is. Right, if you suffer from that photo sensitive epilepsy, turn away now because there's going to be some flashing. I'm even going to turn it around and do the other side because I'm that professional. Trap me bloody what? <laughs> even trap me bloody right under it now. Gotta get an edge cube to get a cattail. Bloody good show, mate, I reckon, mate. Good as new. What's up, Andy? It's as good as new, mate. <laughs> all I've got to do now is pack away all my crap takes as long as doing the bloody job tell you what i should have done that now yeah i should have put my welder fiber top on look i got a t-shirt there of the welder fiber I tell you what i have got with a t-shirt as well free stickers look baz director i'm gonna put your stickers on my van somewhere i'm gonna put that big one up there no nope, won't fit up there it's too big yeah i'll put it down here though welder fiber full attack I tell you what, one's even appeared on the back of the struggle bus. If you don't know who they are, check them out They're on YouTube, World of Faber Baz and the director. They're good. Good content, guys. Good content. We like a bit of working content, don't we? Right then, mate. I'm going to go out, put a shrimp on the barbie, drink some fasters. Even though Aussies don't drink fasters, and now you all think it's snake's piss. Now, Jack. But I'm not a proper Aussie, am I? Ha! Bloody not! Good show, Chris. Bloody good show! Look at that big shack there, Lord. Looks funny. And there's old Finn, our Archie. <laughs> right, guys. Catch you lot on the next one. See you later. Woo -hoo! Yeah, you will. You know you will. Yeah, you will. Me and Lady Dog's got to go home. Lady Dog's tired. He's, he's had a busy day today, Lady Dog. You've got to go out for diddles, Lady Dog. I'm sorry. He's got to go out for diddles, guys. <laughs> got to take him out of my brain.